In 1892, the RSN staged a major fundraiser. We were raising funds for our new building, which eventually opened in 1903. The method we used was called a tableau vivant. These were terribly popular at the time. Queen Victoria thought they were marvellous. Uh, and so we put this event on. The idea was that we would stage a number of different scenes. You can see some of them here um, from this newspaper cutting. And each scene would be a tableau. So people would get dressed up. There would be scenery behind. The curtains would open and everyone would go, ooh, and ah, and clap. And then not a lot more happened. The curtains would close and they would move on to the next scene. So there had to be quite a few musical interludes in between. But in this wonderful book, we can see some of the people who were involved and even the costumes uh, that they wore, which really makes it uh, very special indeed. Uh, there were a number of ladies, capital L. Uh, there were Their daughters uh, were definitely very much involved in this. Uh, and we even had um, an American. Miss Bonning, who's here at the top in the centre, uh, she was originally from America but came over to this country and eventually uh, married in this country. So we have these wonderful scenes that were created. Altogether, there were nine scenes. Some of them represented embroidery at a particular time, although exactly what they were doing for the embroidery in Greece um, isn't really displayed. They're just standing there in wonderful sort of Greek type costumes. Uh, but some of them had more meaning. The medieval one uh, was based around the sacking of the monasteries and there it was about protecting the Scion Cope. Um, and uh, there's a wonderful uh, scene there of the um, saying, no, you shall not take the cope uh, to the uh, soldiers. Um, and we've seen that image. But we've also got some other elements to this as well. Um, here are a couple of the tickets, for example, um, so that admitting one on each of the day, you can see the price was one guinea uh, to attend and it ran on a number of occasions, hence the different um, colour of the tickets. Uh, and we've even got one of the scenes painted out in colour. Uh, that you can see here. This was the Egyptian scene. Again, perhaps slightly odd to know exactly where the embroidery fitted into it, but um, as I say, one of the scenes. But I think possibly my favourite uh, and the hardest to imagine, because we don't really have an image of this that I'm aware of, um, is that when it had C9, it was um, uh, about sort of the future, if you like, uh, and we have here the goddess of industry who was being played by Lady Dallas. What Lady Dallas was wearing or how she looked as the spirit of industry, um, I don't know, but I think that's um, a, a little fantastic um, name for her, goddess of industry. Um, so this was a, a great fundraiser. It took place at a theatre uh, and lot, a large number of people attended it.